Hello kings and queens. This is Zena. <laughs> Welcome to Success in the Price. I hope and I pray that you are having an amazing, amazing Sunday. Wherever you are and whatever you are doing today, tomorrow, <laughs> in a couple of days. I just pray that you're having a wonderful day. Um, I want to share something with you. And what I want to share is that in the Bible, it says to be content. Be content in whatever state or situation that you are in. Be content. And the reason why I am sharing this with you is that we, me, us, that we expect every day, every day to be a good day, every day to be a wonderful, magnificent day. We expect for the roses to smile and bloom when we walk past them or walk by them. We expect no trouble, no chaos, no drama. We expect every day that the sun is going to shine brightly on us. And yes, that's what we want. We, I, every day, me, I want that. I want that every day. When I, when my feet hit the floor, I want to just be full of joy, just happy, and just you know, everything is going to flow my flow my way. That is what I want. I don't, you know, I want to, I just want just joy just to overtake me. And it can, and it will, but it's just not going to just drop on you like that. It takes work. If you want, if you want to be joyful and you want to be happy and you want to bless a good day, you have to invoke that. You have to invoke it. You have to prepare it. Just like when you um, say say you, uh, you have a stove. Some some stoves, stoves, cooking stoves are electric. Some are gas. But the ones that sometimes are gas uh, stoves that you have to light it with a fire because it won't come on automatically unless you get a match and you put it against that um, that gas. <laughs> <laughs> and it lights up so that's what we have to do we have to we have to invoke happiness we have to create our happiness we have to create joy i mean i just wish i just wish every morning morning that i could just be so happy but i have to work i have to pray i have to meditate on god i have to read some scriptures I have to read a date my daily bread and my daily bread is a bible it's a little small bible called uh it's called calling it's called jesus is calling by sarah young and i make sure i read that every day and i read about four four pages of it it's a daily thing so meaning that uh, it starts with like uh the days of the month like january 1st all the way to until the end of uh January, which is the 30th for the 31st. So what I'm saying, like today, last week I went to a concert. I went to the um, Frankie Beverly Mays concert in Inglewood, California. And um, it was wonderful. Uh, you know, it, I mean, just, just to be around all the people, a lot of people were white because it was the farewell, farewell, tour for Frank, for Frankie Beverly and Mays. It was his farewell tour because, you know, he's um, getting um, at the stage of life where um, he can't, you know, perform like he used to. So, you know, that for me was a big thing. It was on Mother's Day. One of my uh, play sisters, she wanted to go. It was her birthday. So we ended up going to that. And like, um, so, you know, it was just like, just so much, um, excitement you know just to see all the people dressed up and to be around um calm people <laughs> and i have i was telling people that no fights didn't break out they were looking at looking at me like uh why would any fights break out it, it, this was a different crowd of people i'm like oh yeah i forgot you know 
you know i'm so used to you know things breaking out like when you go to when you go to concerts and but it was a it was a different type of uh people you know it was a, a different set of uh grown grown folks you know so i you know so i forgot i forgot all about that you know you know so but anyway um and like today today's a quiet day um not too much is jumping off so that's why i'm saying it's like some days some days you're not gonna some days you are not going to feel the excitement you're not gonna feel um like well where are, where are my friends you know no one is calling me no one is saying oh what you doing where you want to go let's do this let's go there it's gonna be like that but you gotta be content you got to create your own joy. You got to keep moving forward, forward. You got to find things to do. Um, you know, don't, don't, don't allow sadness or lon loneliness or, or depression or, or, or feeling, you know, down. Keep moving. You got to get up, brush your teeth, comb your hair, put your, put some lipstick on, do your make, do, you know, make yourself look good, Sp put you on some perfume create your own excitement don't wait you can't wait for anyone to make you happy you have you are responsible for creating your own happiness your husband can't do it for you say your husband wants to go hang out with his friends and you know you feel like you're alone well my best buddy um has gone off to hang out with his friends create your own happiness say your fiance wants to go somewhere he wants to go golfing or go fishing with his friends and you're not invited create your own ha happiness don't sit around um feeling sad and sorry for yourself get up and do something do something different do something that you've never done you know so i just wanted just to share that with you that we cannot allow sadness depression of feeling alone to creep in when things are not going and flowing like we would like them to so i just wanted to share that with you i pray that you all have a blessed blessed week that's coming up i pray that the hand of god will be on your life that god will keep you that god will strengthen you that god will touch your body that God will heal, heal your heart. That God would heal that broken heart. You know, there are some broken hearts and some hearts that are still broken after 10 years, decades, um, months. God wants to heal you. And you need to, you need to step out of that step out of that hurt you cannot continue to hold on to that hurt because that's that's what i'm talking talking about holding on to things that are that are keeping you that, that are keeping you bound up and chained up i pray that god will will loose the chains that he will set you free that there will be a turnaround in your situation by me by you listening to this video today by me praying for you by me encouraging you that god is giving Giving you a confirmation that it's time to let it go that it's time to let that go so I just want you to be encouraged um, I'm praying for healing for those that have cancer praying for those that um, that um that have severe hair loss that you think your hair won't go back that it will that it will or use oils and conditioners uh, your, on your scalp add water to it i know at one time i was just adding only the oils but i was listening to this young lady's video and she was saying the oil needs to have water um, I'm talking about the oils, the oils, the avocado, avocado oils, the uh, olive oils, the grapeseed oils, the argan oils. You, you cannot just put that um, on your hair uh, without some type of moisture. So moisture, you need to add water to it. I'm like, that makes sense. That does make sense. So I'm praying for hair uh, increase and uh, hair growth that God will heal your follicles that every spot alopecia that the hair will come in I'm praying for people that need jobs God Lord that the, that this would be the week that this is gonna be your week this is gonna be our, our week opportunities are coming there are exams that you have to take to get to uh, qualify to get on the list I'm praying that all that studying that you have done that you will that you will pass that exam 
you gonna pass it i'm gonna pass it we all gonna pass it i'm decreeing favor hard work pays off hard work pays off studying pays off it pays off you you will get rewarded for that so i just want to encourage you today please like this video today give me the thumbs up subscribe like i'm trying to be better a better version and i'm just going to speak my truth um uh, some people if i just slip up one time and play a r b music some I, you know i would get i would get messages um are you okay you know well you know you know god wants you to be in the light and walk in the light i am in the light i am walking in the light i love r and music i love r and b music rhythm and blues i love especially if it makes sense if it doesn't have a lot of cursing sexual connotations something that's uplifting um like fantasia stuff that's up uplifting um i'm gonna listen to it if it's touching my soul and if it's uh resonating with me i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna play it either i'm gonna learn it and sing a little bit of it that's what i am that's what i do i love god with all my heart i love the jesus i love jesus christ i stand on his word he is king of kings in my life he is my sunshine he is my bread he's my way maker he's my bridge over troubled water he's my strength when i when when all my strength is gone he's the person that i'll call on in the morning in the morning he's the person that i call on when i go to bed he's the person that i call on all throughout the day without jesus christ in my life the holy spirit jehovah nisi jehovah rapha um um uh, <laughs> he has so many he has so many names he is my everything i worship him i worship him he even said something to me today and i'm gonna move on it but i'm gonna wait until for the right opportunity god told me that he wants me to find a church home i used to be in church i was raised up in church i went in church i was i worked in ministries uh, uh i was up under uh women um um minister, minister women two had two women pastors that i was up under and i worked in those ministries and i said okay god um i know that you talking to me and i will but i'm going to be led i want you to lead me to the right church that i'm supposed to be in because there's a lot of churches that that i that i don't want to that i don't want to be a member or join it has to be the right church it has to be the place where god wants me to be so that is my truth that is my truth i have cousins and they have a church and god bless them but god is not leading leading me uh to join that ministry you know so um i have i have good friends and, but God is going to lead me. He gonna lead me where he want me to be, where I can, uh, where I can continue to grow or work in the ministry, whatever, whatever God wants for my life, wherever he wants me to be, what church he wants me to join. Because um, after a situation, I was in a church and I just said, you know, I'm gonna just, I heard some stories about, I heard some stories, women, they had, they had shared with me, and this was years ago, and I was still fresh and young, and didn't know too much about uh, church, I didn't know about church hurt, and so people were telling me, oh no, I don't go to church anymore, I don't, I, and, and I didn't understand that, because I thought, I believed, my belief was that you need a church so you can learn you need the church because that's where god is god, god god is in the building but god is on the inside of you god is on in, inside inside of you but the church is good for people that that need that growth that need to learn that need the guidance and wisdom and you know i will never knock a church but if you're not doing the right thing and you're leading people astray then i'm not with that you have to you have to come straight from the bible you need to be holy you need to lead 
the people the right way. I know in churches, there's all kind of stuff going on. The pastors are having sex with all the women in the church. And it's just so much. I don't even want to go there. But thank you. God bless you. <laughs> thank you for liking this video. Please give me the thumbs up. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless you. I love you, kings and queens. Thank you for all my friends. Thank you. I love you guys. I love you all, kings and queens. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Take care.